Hey everyone, I made it to the top 20 of the Dutch Knicks Face Awards. The theme for the first round is Color Explosion, so I've created a rainbow candy skull for the challenge. I started with priming my face using the NYX Honeydew Me Up and Tinted Moisturizer. I use the Tinted Moisturizer because the next step can be very drying to your skin. To intensify the colors I applied white cake makeup with a sponge to my entire face. It doesn't have to be completely even since we're going to apply eyeshadow over it, but it has to cover the skin completely. And I'm also applying the makeup on my ears and neck. For the colors on my face I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette in Brights, starting with the yellow shade. I wanted to use the lightest color on the middle of my face first to bring it forward. And I'm buffing the shade on my face slowly building up the color. And I'm also going to apply the yellow shade on my neck. The next colors that I'm going to use are the green shades. I'm blending the lighter green into the yellow as well to give it a gradient effect. And for this look I wanted to have a symmetrical base, so I'm using the green shade on the other side as well. Then I'm going in with the darker shade, again blending it into the previous one. I also sometimes go back into the previous shade to make it blend better and I'm using the same brush for all steps. You can do that as long as you go back and forth between the shades that are next to each other. And for the next step I'm going to use the blue shade starting with the lighter one. And I'm still bringing the colors down to my neck. But this is the last shade that we have to do so because the rest is going to be covered with So I'm now using the darker blue shade on the outsides of my face, blending it with the lighter shade. So basically all you have to do is follow the color order of a rainbow. You can also mix it up by applying all the colors like spots, but I thought this would look better with this makeup look. And now I add the last violet and purple color and just completely cover the white part of my face. So the rainbow base is now done and now we can add the skull details. To start I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. And I'm sketching out the eye socket by first going over my eyebrows and then trying to follow my real eye socket as much as possible. A skull also has a dent in the temple so I'm sketching those out too and filling them in with the pencil. I want to do more smaller details so I'm going to use the NYX Final Liquid Liner for my nose starting at the sides of my nose and connecting the lines in the middle with an M shape. And then I'm going to fill in the part of my nose using the same NYX Jumbo Pencil. And because I'm insecure about my drawing skills, I'm going to use the NYX Brow Pencil to sketch out the lines before going in with the real liner. And I'm figuring out my bone structure just by checking where they are and I'm going to follow that. And there's also a hole between the top part of the skull and the jaw so I'm sketching out those. And I'm also checking where my teeth end so I know where to stop drawing them. And using the final liquid liner I'm going to draw all over the sketches. So the sketches are not really mandatory if you're confident in where to draw your lines. Now I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk to draw in the teeth. I'm starting in the middle using my Cupid's bow as a guide. And I'm just drawing little squares until the part where I felt where my last tooth was. Then I'm going to use the black shadow in the NYX Love Contours All palette. I first started setting all the parts where I used the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. And then adding the black shade between all the teeth. And I'm not going to add the eyeshadow on the outside of the teeth yet, only on the inside. Then I decided that the row of teeth were too long, so I'm just going to remove the outer ones by using the black eyeshadow. And I'm going to fill in the part between the jaw and the skull. 
for the glitter teeth, I'm first going to apply the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to add a small amount on each tooth using a flat brush and now I'm going to use this amazing NYX Glitter Brilliant in Crystal I'm applying this using the same flat brush that still has a bit of primer on it and this helps with preventing fallout and to finish up I'm going over the black eyeshadow again to darken it up and now continuing with the eye sockets I'm taking the same brush that I used to apply the black eyeshadow and I'm going to blend the outside parts inwards and for a blue gradient I'm going to use the blue shades of the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette in Brights again so just blending the darker blue with the black and then using the lighter blue and as you can see I'm really taking the time to blend I'm constantly going back and forth using the blue eyeshadows to make it blend smoothly and for extra brightness I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk again in the middle of my eyes and the lightest turquoise shade in the palette and I'm also going to do the same thing on the bottom part of my eyes and to really make my eyes stand out I'm also going to use the pencil in my waterline and now I'm going to clean up the lines around my eyes using the vanilla liquid liner just to make it more clean looking then I started to fill in my neck using the jumbo pencil in black bean I'm filling the outer part of my neck and creating rectangular shapes for the vertebrae and then I'm just going to fill the whole part in using a black eyeshadow and the Nick Jumbo Pencil also blends in very well to create the petals around my eyes I'm going to use the sketch method again just to be certain because it's difficult to remove the black liner otherwise uh, and that's because of the colorful base that we're using and using the sketch method it's so easy just to follow the lines Now using the NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Petal, I'm going to fill in all the petals around my eyes. It's best to do this part as neatly as possible, but you can also go back in with the black liner, so that's no problem if you make a mistake. For the mandala, I'm going to use the sketch method once more. For all the parts, I would definitely recommend to sketch these shapes. Everyone's face is different, so how many shapes you can make is really dependent on the size of your forehead. I just started the mandala making small half circles and a petal shape. I would recommend to google mandala images and try to recreate them, and that's what I basically did for this look. I started drawing the big petal in the middle, which makes it easier to make them more symmetrical. And FYI, if you have blonde hair, it might be better to draw everything a bit lower since we're going to use the NYX Vivid Brights after this step, so I'm not sure if they will stain your hair. And as you can see, it's now so much easier to create the shapes using the liner because it's so much more difficult to just make up shapes on the spot with this and now you just can go all in using the mix with the brights it's just like a coloring book you just fill all in the shapes with the shape that you want I also filled in a few spots with black just to give it more contrast and it's also fun to keep some spots open to give it a more 3D effect so I kept the squares on the big petals open so you can see the background through it and for the colors I'm not going in a specific order like the rainbow also because the Vivid Bright doesn't really have an orange shade but these also match together really well and I'm also going back and forth with the black liner because the vivid liners are completely opaque and the black liner too so it's easy to go over each other 
I've also created a mandala on my chin, but I'm not going to show that because it's basically the same as I've shown you here. And now we're just finishing up and adding some extra details. I didn't find my eyes blue enough, so I added another blue shade. And I brightened up my eyes a bit more using the liner on my waterline. And now I'm going to add some falsies, which are the NYX Wicked Lashes. And I'm adding a few dots to the mandala. And also, I think that the candy skull has to look cute and sexy, so I'm also adding a few blue freckles to the face. Then I'm adding a tiny bit of shadow to the teeth. And now it's time for the wig and a hair accessory. I created this myself by removing the top part of a windmill toy. There are holes in the back so I could easily add a hairpin and then pin it to my hair. So this is the final result and I really love how it turned out. I just love skull makeup looks. They're not too difficult and they're an instant eye catcher too. And a candy skull is also more of a fun version of a skull so it doesn't have to look real and you can create as many fun details as you want. I chose the mandala as a detail because you can use a lot of colors in different parts and I just love how they look. I even have a mandala tattoo on my arm. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it.